Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you insert a new chart into a worksheet, the entire chart area will initially appear selected. You will also see the Chart Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon as well as three drop-down buttons attached to the right side of the chart. When editing charts, the first thing that you should become familiar with performing is selecting chart elements. Note that a chart is not simply a single object, but rather is a complex object that is comprised of many other smaller selectable objects. You should be aware of exactly what element in the chart is selected before you begin any procedure, such as formatting the chart itself or the objects within the chart. One way to select objects is by using your mouse. You can click on the individual elements within the chart to select them. Note that to select the entire chart, you should click into the chart area. That is the blank area that surrounds most of the actual elements of the chart. When the chart area is selected, you can then perform functions that affect the entire chart, such as moving the chart or formatting the background of the chart. Inside of the chart area is the plot area. This is the area inside of the chart area where the actual graphic representation of your data is located. Inside of the plot area, you can click on the graphic to select a series from your chart. You can then click on an individual point in a series to select an individual point. Note that other chart elements are all also independently selectable, such as chart titles, data labels, and the legend. So in summary, you should be aware of exactly what element within the chart is selected before you perform an operation or function. Otherwise, you could inadvertently make mistakes such as moving elements within the chart when you meant to move the entire chart, or formatting the entire chart background when you meant to format only a single data series. Another way to select a chart or many of the elements within a chart is by using the Chart Elements drop-down that appears in the Current Selection button group on the Format tab within the Chart Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Use this drop-down to select the major elements within your chart. However, you should also note that not all chart elements are shown in this drop-down list. It should be noted that you can also click on a chart element with your mouse and then inspect the value shown within the chart elements drop-down to see exactly what object you have selected within your chart. This is a great way to double check and ensure that you have the correct chart element selected before you begin an editing or formatting procedure. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.